Hey, what's up guys? Royal here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over some Tunnel 10 attacks in war, guys. We got some HGHB for you guys, Healers, Giants, Hogs, Bowlers, and we got a Frozen Witch for you guys today. Real exciting stuff. We also got a real nice Goboho. So, without further delay, let's get into it right after this. Alright guys, so we're going to get to our first attack, and we're starting off with that HGHB, guys. And the HGHB, if you don't know what it is, I had mentioned it already, but it's Healers, Giants, Hogs, Bowlers, and basically, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with our Giants down, and they're going to start tanking with the help of the Healers on them to keep them nice and healthy, and while they're doing that tanking, we're going to cut off a funnel with some wizards and baby dragon here. Baby dragon, of course, can uh, take out the cannon on that side. The wizards would have been taken out by the cannon, and uh, then once the funnel is established, we can get that wall wrecker in, get the heroes in, and get the bowlers in, so they're going to cut out a nice piece of the base here. And you can see we're going to be carving a path for our hogs to come in here. And the HTHB guys, those healers, once they're done uh, keeping just the giants alive, they can switch off, start healing the bowlers, they can heal the queen, it, uh, you know, wherever the heals are needed. And so now we got the hogs coming in from the western side of the base. And you can see there's... Uh, skeleton traps being deployed now, and uh, we got double bombs going off there. We hit the bomb tower and the giant bomb, and they're hitting another giant bomb, hopping over into the next compartment here, and more ground skeletons going off. This is very much an anti-ground base, uh, anti-hog uh, for that matter, with the bombs and the bomb towers being so close together. But uh, still managed to pull through. Uh, the hogs are going to take out these skellies now. Uh, had we known that uh, there was all those skeleton traps, perhaps it would have saved a extra poison to take out the skeletons. But this was a fresh hit. And uh, taking out this base on the first try. And the HGHB, you guys, it's uh, very underutilized. It's such a strong army. And like I said, with the healers, uh, they're able to keep up. Uh, the giants in the beginning, but they'll switch off and, uh, you know, help whoever is in need, of course, but, um, they are such an important part of the attack and really, uh, leading to the success, uh, with your kill squad. And, uh, so we're going to get on to the next attack right after this. All right, guys, so we're going to get into our next attack and we got Rex, AKA Absolute zero and he's going to come in with that frozen witch guys and as you can see in the composition below we had seven free spells so that is why it's called the frozen witch if you did not know and uh 14 witches there which is a ton of witches guys at town hall 10 and so what we did here to start off the attack we put in two giants uh spread out uh where we were gonna put our witches to follow but the point of that was to have the giant soak in the damage from those point defenses before we get our witches in there because if we just put our witches in first the witches would have uh, would have just died one of them would have died on each side so now we've got witches gonna go uh, to the western side of the map we got witches gonna go to the eastern side of the map and we got our wall wrecker with our heroes and some more witches going through the core of the base and what we were doing here, guys, uh, we are using those freeze spells to freeze the single target Infernos. We did that for a few of these uh, singles to allow our wall wrecker to make it this far into the base, you guys. Uh, it's, you know, it's free wall breakers, essentially. And uh, just getting those witches and the skeletons uh, and the heroes, most importantly, all the way deep into the base and... Uh, of course, we got these healers on our witches, and they are just helping out tremendously. Like we were saying in that last attack, the healers are like MVP in this. Uh, the witches going around the sides, they wouldn't be able to stay up uh, through these 
Wiz Towers and all these point defenses, if it wasn't for these healers, just boosting them all the way back up to full health, especially you can see uh, on both sides, but especially on the uh, western side more so, uh, just the witches and the skeletons, and uh, they were able to do so much damage, and when they are all grouped together like this, uh, those projectiles take out those point defenses so quick. Look at this archer tower, it's going to go down. Bang him. <laughs> so, oh no, he's going to run out of time. I'm just kidding, it's a replay, that wasn't the countdown. A uh, really nice attack here by Rex in his debut on YouTube. Uh, we're going to get into the next attack right after this. Okay, so we're going to get into our next attack, and it is our last attack, uh, coming in from RGYT, and we're coming in, as you can see down below at the composition there, uh, we got a Gobaho coming in for you guys, and you can see here we got two free spells in our camp and one in the CC, you'll see what they're going to be used for in a second here, uh, we got an Archer over on the uh, town hall just to do some early uh, damage to that town hall it's got a lot of hp guys if you can uh pick it off with an archer or a goblin uh in this case it had to be a uh, archer because there was a uh, archer tower uh could have hit it if there was a goblin but we got our uh ground squad our kill squad coming in here and the uh, wall record leading the way followed by the heroes we've already dropped two freezes down on top of the cc and the single target inferno here uh, just giving us some more time to do that damage here take out that enemy queen take out the single target inferno and really just take out a chunk of this whole part of the base and our heroes are still going none of them have used their ability yet and uh, Queen actually just runs away as that single target Inferno was turned to lock onto her. She was being smart there, guys. Uh, so we are entering our hogs in from the western corner of the base here. And there's actually a lot of damage happening there. There was a lot of defenses. A Tesla farm popped up all four Teslas. And we got, look at all those skeletons chasing them down. It was just like the first attack with the hogs. Uh, lots and lots of skeleton traps set to ground and yeah th these guys are, are trying to prevent these hog attacks but we're coming in and showing that we can do it anyway uh got our last heal coming down now uh gonna push through the last bit of defenses we've got some back end loons here because we knew we we're gonna end on some uh, uh ground uh, targeting defenses we got some loons coming in behind to help out and uh, at this point guys it's just gonna be up to the cleanup uh the king's just going to pop the ability here to uh, help with the uh, cleanup just a little bit faster. My screen went crazy there for a second. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the Gobaho, uh, if you can take some freezes in place of a heal just to get deeper into the base, guys, because we needed to do that to get to that enemy queen because she was a bit deeper in the base. And... Um, if there's single target infernos, uh, bringing in those freezes for those singles to allow your kill squad to get deep into the base can be, you know, the difference between a uh, two star and a three star. So, uh, with that, guys, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, go like it for me and show your support. And if you guys haven't already, go subscribe to the channel, guys. Very much appreciated. And you guys all have a good one. Peace out.